Hi everyone. Uh, in this video will discuss the next topic uh, that is the plan the meeting. So we already started uh, what is the uh, formal review process. Uh, in the previous video we discussed what is the formal review process and uh, what are the steps involved in the formal review process. Okay, uh, in the first step uh, we discussed uh, like uh, defined uh, review objectives and uh, the next step was uh, identify the review uh, identify the review team. Uh, identifying review team means uh, the participants within a meeting. Okay, and what is the role of each participant and role and responsibilities and work of each uh, team member or each participant. Okay, in this uh, topic I will discuss. Uh, in this video, we will discuss the next topic uh, that is the plan the meeting. So basically, uh, plan the meeting is the uh, everything is uh, preparatory work. Preparatory work. So now preparatory work includes like uh, identifying the work product to be reviewed. We are just identifying which work, work product is going to be reviewed and the people uh, to be involved. Uh, then this meet at uh, the formal meeting and the people, the participants are going to attend or the past uh, participants are going to attend this particular meeting. Next, their roles and uh, responsibilities. What are their roles and responsibilities? What is the entry criteria and exit criteria for a reviewing meeting? So those all should be, uh, these, uh, these all criteria as all aspects are to consider within, uh, while planning the meeting. And that uh, the first is the preparatory activities. So what actually the, the preparatory activities is, so in the prepare, uh, preparatory activities, a distribution of a relevant documents to the participants. Distribution of a relevant document to the participants and informing the objectives and agenda of the meeting. So now this includes a in distribution of a relevant documents. So here the distribution of a relevant document, it is the document is based on the what work product we are going to review in this particular meeting. So depending on that uh, work product we are going to review, uh, we prepare a document we distribute to every uh, participant within a meeting and informing the objectives and agenda of the meeting. So uh, preparing the objective or informing uh, objectives and agenda of the meeting is it's the work of a project manager. Uh, he is going to uh, decide what are the objectives, what are the objectives and what is the main objective of this particular meeting. Okay. Next is the actual review meeting. Now actual review meeting is now the designated person will explain the work product. Okay, designated person will explain the work product or do the code walkthrough by explaining line by line to all members. Now designated person will explain the work product means oh, see almost the team lead or the programmer is the person who is going to explain the work product explaining the work product and do the code or uh, mean the explaining the work product means code walkthrough by explaining the line by line to all members. So uh, since it's, a, it's a informal is a one of the static testing uh, process, so uh, we, we walk through the line by code uh, line by line uh, aesthetically, means the manually. So now here the actual review meeting is designated person will explain the work product. So that means he's going to uh, do the course walk through by explaining line by line to all members and uh, necessary issue, uh, issues will be discussed, minutes of meeting are recorded, the coordinator will form the action points to be taken uh, after uh, the meeting. See here the necessary issues will be discussed in uh, minutes of meeting are recorded. So here the necessary issues, what are the issues uh, or what are the defects arise during the, uh, uh, this meeting uh, that is what uh, we, uh, we we are going to discuss. Next is the minutes of meeting are recorded. So now here the minutes of meetings are recorded. We know what are the minutes of meeting or agenda of meeting. Now what does the conclusion of a meeting uh, is recorded. Next the coordinator will inform the action points to be taken up after the meeting. Next, uh, once we record the minutes of meeting, now the coordinator, the coordinator is uh, will inform the action points to be taken. What are the action points? What are the further steps to be taken uh, after the meeting uh, for that particular issue. Next is the rework. The action points are studied and the defects are rectified. Rework means once the actual uh, review of a meeting, actual review meeting is once we are done with the actual review meeting, 
we go through the rework process. Now the rework process uh, includes the action points are studied and the defects are rectified by the author of the work product. What are the action points? Are, uh, what are the action points? Uh, we have taken uh, after the meeting review meeting and what are the defects uh, what are the defects or uh, uh, arises during the uh, formal review process and how it is going to be rectified how it is going to be rectified uh, those all should be considered within the rework process that is action points are studied what are the action point taken after the meeting next and the defects are rectified what are if any defects are there uh, those defects are rectified by the author uh, next is so next is a follow up process now in the follow up process after the rework the follow up process uh, we are going to uh, we uh, we carry out the follow up process now the follow up process is whether the action points are completed or not we are checking in the follow up process whether action points are completed or not next uh, is uh, check it through the follow up meeting the follow up process is also a follow up meeting once we have done with the actual work we, uh, review meeting and uh, we we uh, see uh, in the work actual review meeting uh, we we take some action points we take uh, we take some action points and in, within a rework we see what are the rework uh, uh, see what are the rework rework process includes the rectifying the defects and uh, action points are studied so uh, and then in the follow up process once again uh, whether action points are completed or not we are checking whether the action points are completed or not i'll check through the follow up meetings so now the work product may be reviewed a number of times means it is a continuous process until and unless uh, the all the team members all the team members get satisfied with the work okay uh, this formal review process continues until uh, the team members are satisfied with the final work product now here uh, the formal review meetings are also known with a different name uh the, the another name for uh, formal reviews uh so informal reviews or walk throughs or inspection the formal review meetings are also known as a informal reviews or a walk throughs or a inspection okay uh, so this is all about the plan the meeting step or a plan meeting process so next is the informal review next step is informal review so basically in the informal review the see uh, most of the software work uh, software project work products are not reviewed at all because it's a uh, time consuming so uh, uh, see it will not be every time it will not be possible to the project manager to review each and every line of code written by the programmer so because it's a lengthy process and very time consuming so this is, uh, every for every project uh, uh, see the informal review is not uh, best way okay next it will not be possible to the project manager to review each and every line of code written by the programmer so if there is a plenty of uh, code uh, so line of code it's a very time consuming that is why we carry out the informal review process now in the informal review process author and his colleague author is i think but the programmer and colleague will sit with the, sit together uh, and go through the work product and try to find the defects in the work product so in the informal review process author and his colleagues author and his colleagues means uh, the programmers and his colleagues the within the team members uh, within the team uh, all the team members almost uh, see we can we can say that that all team members two or more than two uh, team members or programmers sit together and go through the work product and try to find the defects in the work product they try to find out the defects in the work product so defect uh, the found will be recorded and rectified later so you know, uh, see compared to the informal review and the formal review process so the formal review process arranging the meetings and all uh, this, this becomes a very uh, time consuming and very lengthy process that is the informal review meeting is author and his colleagues uh, will sit together and go through the work product that's it now try to find the defects and uh, all the defects are recorded and rectified later uh, this is the definition of informal review so next is a walk through so what actually the walk through is review meeting is organized in which a author of the work product coordinates the meeting means a review a review meeting is organized in which author of the work product author of the work product coordinates the meeting now the author of the work product is almost the programmer or um, we can consider programmer or uh, team lead now uh, this can be done for uh, see formally or informally walk through can be done 
formally uh, informal formally meeting or informally now this uh, the formal meet formal we arrange the meetings or informally means the colleagues and uh, work uh, the author of the work uh, author of the work product and some uh, see some colleagues sit together and uh, they uh, go through the line code line by line next is uh, the uh, see here the meetings are attended by one or two experts meetings sir see now in the walk throughs meetings uh, this walk throughs are the meetings only but uh, see here only uh, two or more ex, uh, more than two one or or uh, two experts or uh, peers and secretary note down the important issues discussed so the uh, he within a walk through process meetings are attended by one or two experts only one or two experts and our peers and secretaries uh, note down the important issues discussed so the work of here the Uh, the 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 participants within a work through us uh, see one or two experts next is the peers and secretary okay these uh, these are the four members now the secretary the work of secretary uh, he note down some important issues discussed okay now author explain the detail and each aspect discussed by the group now, author explains the details and each aspect is discussed by the group means once the author is done with the explanation each aspect is discussed by all the group members or the all the uh, participants within a team okay now this is all about the walk throughs next is making a review successful now, what makes the review uh, review reviewing process successful okay what makes the review process successful now basically what happens in some organization uh, uh, meetings review meetings are held, uh, not held because uh, it creates some problem how it creates a problem is different people having a different uh, mentality sometimes uh, they uh, people feel that they have wasted their time attending meetings and uh, uh, sometimes they uh, the people may fight with each other because of their uh, defo- uh, different uh, aspects or a different mentality or different uh, feel about that uh, their work now uh, for here the for review meeting to succeed the manager and all team members should keep in mind that uh, first one is the review done to find the defects not to find find out who did the mistake so the first uh, point is so the, the, all the uh, see that for review meeting to succeed and a manager and team member should keep in mind like uh, before uh, we start uh, review process everyone should keep in mind like uh, the some criteria like Uh, some uh, points like a review done to find the defect we are conducting a review meeting to f- then uh, see review done to find defect not to find out who did mistake not to find out who did mistake next is the while obtaining a productivity matrix while obtaining a productivity matrix the productivity matrix includes the budgeting overall budgeting process now the focus should be on uh, done on average value for a total team rather than the individual team members the focus should be not on an individual uh, it should be on uh, the focus should be uh, on individual not on an individual uh, member but it should be on uh, overall uh, the whole team members the focus on whole team members if we are considering the pr- uh, productivity matrix next the moderator has to ensure that the members uh, discuss issues but not argue now the moderator we know what is the work of a moderator is an intermediator between uh, the test like uh, intermediate between every uh, teammates or every uh, participants within a meeting now he the moderator uh, discuss the issues but not or see uh, the work of the moderator is to uh, he is just like a director within a uh, meeting now he knows uh, uh, where the meeting uh, the direction how the meeting is uh, going through and all so now he he is the manager just kind of a manager or uh, the director of a meeting now he, he ensures that the member discuss issues not to argue but not to argue next the team member should not get emotionally at, attached uh, to their work so now once uh, it, should, it should not be attached every team member should be professional body they should not get attached to uh, emotionally attached to their work or uh, their project with the project okay next is the objective of the uh, review meeting should be clearly defined objectives objectives of the review meeting should be clearly defined the who is going to deserve what is the ob- what are the objectives of a review meeting there is it is the work of a project manager to decide what are the objective of a 
particular meeting okay now uh, that should be clearly defined okay there should not be a confusing one okay next is uh, the review me team should have a person with expertise and those who look at things objectively uh, c means uh, the review here uh, the review team should have a person and the participants within a review team with the expertise and those who look at things objectively see uh, the the meaning of this point is everyone should have a same objective same perspective of reviewing the uh, code means the reviewing the work product okay same mentality same perspective and same objective next is every member of the uh, review committee should go prepared for a meeting Uh, so before uh, starting a review uh, formal review process we circulate some documents okay we circulate some documents to uh, each and every participant within a, within a review process or within that uh, the participants who are going to attend that particular formal uh, review meeting team uh, review meeting process okay now uh, we circulate some documents so that uh, they should uh, they come with uh, they should come with a preparation before going to start the meeting next is the checklist and coding guidelines should be used in the review what are the checklist checklist and uh, checklist and coding guidelines should be used in the review so what are the checklist and coding guidelines uh, we will see in the next topic so okay, checklist are nothing but the list uh, like uh, some guidelines or some uh, some policies or uh, some see, uh, some policies or uh, some guidelines so we Okay. Uh, what are the checklists and coding guidelines should be used in the review process? Okay, checklists and coding guidelines should be used in the review process. Like, um, we'll see what is the checklist. What are the checklists uh, we use uh, during our review process? Next is the uh, project manager should provide the necessary resources uh, for the review meetings. Now, the project manager should uh, is the responsible, the overall uh, responsible person to make it successful. Uh, see. to make a, a review meeting successful project manager plays an important role on, because his overall uh, maintenance is depending on the uh, the project manager only the success of review meeting is depending on the project manager okay next we'll see uh, the next topic what are the checklist now what is a checklist what are the checklist we can say so during a static testing different work product uh, checklist plays an important role now here the checklists are uh, a list of uh, see some guidelines some guidelines or some points with respect to that particular work product uh, we uh, we prepare a document that those are called as a checklist now during the uh, static testing uh, static testing of a different work product checklist plays an important role now here uh, for every work product checklist has to be prepared and uh, the work product has to be checked thoroughly thoroughly so by the review uh, team by using checklist so checklist is or the so checklist consists what are the points we are going to review what are the work or uh, the points we are going to review in the formal review process now here the first one is the srs checklist now within the srs checklist uh, so as per the the uh, see the first is the srs checklist so okay, there uh, there is on uh, see there uh, to prepare some srs checklist there are some standards Okay, according to uh, IEEE or as per the IEEE standard, SRS document should have uh, some characteristics. Now, SRS document should have some characteristics like uh, it should not be unambiguous, it should be complete, it should be verifiable, and the SRS checklist should be consistent and it should not be uh, it should be modifiable and traceable and it should be usable. Hmm, what is the meaning of here? Means uh, so we are checking uh, as per the IEEE standard. it should be uh, should not be unambiguous means is there any ambiguity uh, we check uh, so we uh, see accordingly checklist uh, srs document contain the uh, see these items like unambiguous and uh, okay as per the ieee standard uh, the srs document should be unambiguous and uh, complete it should be it should not be unambiguous it should be complete it should be verifiable and it uh, the answer should uh, document should be consistent only like it should be modified as per the requirement or uh, in, if any changes uh, for the required and the traceable and usable so no uh, in, uh, here in the first point what should be unambiguous means is we are checking that is there any ambiguity in the srs uh, document 
because of the natural language we uh, in the srs document it's not a technical uh, see basic we use uh, natural languages uh, in srs document or in srs uh, checklist so there should uh, there should uh, we are checking that uh, is there any ambiguity in the srs document okay because we use the natural language so okay, next is uh, uh, complete means we are checking are the user requirement completely covered in the document like are the uh, all the requirements are completely covered in the srs document or srs checklist okay uh, okay next is uh, every functional requirement and non functional requirements uh, specified in the document is verifiable I means in the third point it should be verified all the functional non functional uh, requirements uh, specified in the srs document should be verified okay ne uh, next is is there any uh, inconsistency okay inconsistent means it should be consistent uh, srs document should be consistent uh, we are checking is there any inconsistency in the different portion of the software next uh, next is uh, see traceable means uh, it is uh, see modifiable see the modify modification means it is easy to make changes uh, to the srs document in the future if any changes are required it should support okay uh, so uh, like that we should prepare we need to prepare as a rest document so okay, uh, next is uh, traceable and uh, usable now uh, srs document usable during the uh, remaining stages of our development uh, we are checking like is the srs document usable during uh, remaining stages of our development means it is not like uh, see uh, in the design process or implementation or testing process Uh, we need a SRS document, so it should be usable with all uh, within all the uh, phases of us. Okay, next uh, next is the SRS document validated by the client. Like we are checking uh, whether the SRS document or SRS checklist is verified by the client or not, or validated by the client or not. So now coming to the next, uh, see uh, first we have seen what is the SRS uh, checklist, and as per the IEEE standard, what are the uh, key areas and what are the Uh, conditions it should satisfy okay to the char uh, main char uh, characteristics of a srs checklist next is a design checklist and the design checklist uh, see uh, is every functional requirement taken into account we are checking is every functional requirement taken into account or not okay next is are the performance requirement met means uh, whether it a design document or a design checklist is meeting all the performance requirements or not next uh, in the here are the uh, are the design constraints or limitations are recorded which again in the next is uh, are the design constraint or limitations are recorded and uh, what assumptions made are they okay if you are making uh, making any assumption that uh, if any assumptions are made are they okay next is external interface are the specified but though any external interface is specified we are sir specified or not next is our design modular is the design is modular one see uh, there is a question like is the design is modular one next is the data structures are identified what are the data structures uh, I, what are the data structures we are using those are all identified and those all mentioned within a, a design checklist okay next is a, Uh, sizes are the sizes of the data files are specified okay are the sizes of the data files are specified uh, within a design checklist or within a design document now uh, what are the um, the chosen algorithms so if you are if you have any algorithm within a design design process so we are checking uh, whether the chosen algorithm is okay or not next uh, the detailed design of uh, for each model is done we are checking whether the detailed um, uh, detail uh, the detailed design for each model has uh, as then or not next is the model interconnection we are checking the model interconnection whether uh, model interconnection is specified uh, in a particular way or not next uh, the error handling is taken care so okay design process we are checking we are also checking the whether the error handling taken care in a proper way or not so these are the some characteristics uh, related with the design checklist i'll uh, see the next uh, checklist that is a gui checklist graphical user interface checklist uh, in the G, uh, specifically uh, uh, this gui checklist is uh, prepared for a gui application okay next uh, within this uh, the characteristics uh, characteristics or uh, questions include uh, is application starting when the icon is double clicked 
okay or uh, most of the applications when we when we uh, double click on uh, any particular icon uh, application is going to start we are checking whether the application is starting when the icon is double clicked okay is application starting twice when the icon double clicked twice okay uh, this is also uh, most important once you double click the uh, any uh, application icon it should start only once we are also checking whether it is uh, once we uh, double double click twice then it should not start uh, twice so uh, this should be considered next is the caption of the main window of the application having the same name as the that of icon so caption uh, so the caption of the main window we display some caption within the main window so that it is matching with the matching with that of the icon okay it should always match the icon name and uh, the caption name should always match okay next is every window having the correct title okay we uh, we assign some names naming convention uh, for each and every window so uh, every uh, every window should have a correct title okay next is the do all the screens have a consistent look and feel so it is necessary like uh, every screen and every window should feel like a consistent look and feel should have a consistent look and feel is each field next is uh, is each field validated in every screen also validation means we are checking every text box every drop down every components uh, which are present within a window we are checking so it should be, uh, they all uh, each field means every field should be validated means uh, with uh, See, they should work in a proper way uh, that uh, that we carry out in a testing process. So that is a validation process. Now, if wrong input entered in a field, any is any uh, is an error message getting displayed or not? Uh, it should if any wrong inputs are displayed, like uh, email ID, for example, email ID. If while entering the email ID, uh, we we need to uh, take care of the valid email ID. Okay, while uh, during uh, during entering uh, uh, email ID within a text box. Okay, uh, this should be uh, uh, taken care. Next is does each push button have a shortcut key? We are checking. It is optional. Does each push button uh, have a shortcut key or not? So it is optional. And even though we have, uh, we just check it. Okay, this is all uh, some characteristic uh, with the GUI checklist. So next is um, website checklist. No, uh, website checklist related to web application. Okay, uh, in the web application, what are the Criteria. What are the aspects we need to consider? Does the web uh, website does the website work exactly in the same way for all web browsers? Whether our browser, whether our web application supports all the browsers or not? Whether it supports, whether it is running uh, in a proper way in all browsers? Uh, is every link is checked? This is every link is checked means every uh, hyperlinks or every links within a website we are going to check. Okay. Next is is Content getting downloaded with, uh, in a maximum 10 seconds. Okay, it is a response time. We, are, uh, we need to check the response time. Okay, uh, is content getting downloaded? If any download, uh, if you provided any uh, download functionality within your uh, web application, so it should be within. Uh, it should take maximum 10 seconds or within a 10 seconds. So that should be checked. Okay, is every page a printer friendly? So uh, when you are developing any web application. Uh, when the user prints uh, any any of the web page, if we uh, if we if we try to print any of the web page, it should be uh, page should be printer friendly. Means alignment and uh, page setup should be. Uh, that is what the printer friendly. Next uh, next is uh, is there a site map? Okay. Uh, if you are giving any site maps, it should be uh, taken care. Next is there a search option? So if you are if you are uh, if you are giving any search option within. Uh, Search option within a website or a web page. So we are uh, just taking care of the search option out of the uh, conditions or some uh, necessity uh, uh, conditions should be satisfied with that particular search option. But just testing, uh, we are just testing is there any search option or not with respect to the website checklist. If uh, our plugins are required to run a particular website, we need some plugins. Is there any plugins are required or not? And option for option for downloading provided if any uh, plugins are required so whether you have given any option for downloading those uh, plugins okay is there any audio audio content we are checking also if any audio content is what are the necessity 
players are required or uh, what are the necessary uh, players when we click on uh, open uh, when we click on that particular audio or video so those all should be checked within a uh, within a gui check uh, website checklist so this is all about uh, this video uh, we'll meet in the next video uh, thank you uh, thanks for watching my video